For this video, I've got my harness on, I need to make a cow's tail. So I'm going to show you how to put a cow's tail onto the harness. We don't want to use carabiners, we want to thread it directly onto this ventral attachment or D-ring as it's commonly called. All cow's tails are generally going to go here and there's various different knots to use. I'm going to start with the figure of eight because it is the tried and tested most fundamental knot in rope access. It doesn't tighten around this so it can be quite easy to get off where there's a barrel knot may not be the best because once you load it it's going to be very hard to get that one done. Now the figure of eight is generally re-threaded onto this so what I can do is make a figure of eight first of all and leaving enough room to actually re-thread this onto the harness. So I'm going to break that part down first and just show you how to do that. I will take a decent section of rope, wrap it round and then come up through that hole that you've made. There is the figure of eight. As a rough guide you want your arm's length to have enough rope to actually re-thread. So I take this tail, I'll go round the ventral attachment or the D-ring and I'm just going to follow this existing figure of eight here. So think of this like the racetrack, this is the rider, so we need to go up because that's where the rope came out. This is the path that I'm following. You see here that I'm going, as I come round, I'm round the top, on top of this one. So I'll have to continue that path and go through here. Any mistakes people generally make is because they're twisting over the existing rope. So don't twist over it, follow the same path. Pull that through. And now it's coming round here and then going up to there. So I'll take this section of tail poke that through, pull it tight. And we're looking for 100 mil worth of tail, which I've got. Pull on the other part of the rope, the standing part. See how I've got a nice short eye, so I'm not wasting any rope there. The tail's 100 mil, and now I've got the rest of the cow's tail to tie the other knot. The quicker way of tying the figure of eight, when you don't need to re-thread it around the D-ring, is taking a loop, there's my tail, there's my section of rope, tie over three fingers just to reduce the amount of rope that you're using, over and pinch, bring it round. If you bring it straight up that'll just be a granny knot or an overhand. Figure of eight, in my opinion, is the best knot to use in this situation. And just go down through where my, my fingers are. A little bit of dressing, make sure that the knot works well. All you need is enough eye to get a carabiner in. 100mm tail. The actual length of the cow's tail will be dictated by your size, for example. You've got to be able to reach and it's not out of reach if you were to get loaded up on something. If you're using a duck backup device, then generally the backup device is going to be limited to 600 mil, maybe 800 mil, including the actual carabiner. So I can make that a little bit longer. If you're six foot six and you're using a duck, it's still going to be 800 mil. So you will be limited in that respect. If you are using a hand jammer with a fit loop, then there's no real guidelines other than making sure that this is arm's length. If you're six foot six, yours is going to be longer than mine. And I can still reach that. So that's fine. That's how you use cow steels attached to the harness.